Just as I expected, those horrid lights in the sky have returned again. I had hoped they wouldn't become a regular occurrence. But this time, I have a solution that's certain to chase the gloom away for good. In a phrase, spring cleaning. Or summer cleaning. <laughs> as it were, I attempted to get Lumiere on board back in April, but he took some convincing. At any rate, the aim is to get the castle so clean that it outsparkles those lights entirely. It's a simple 78 point plan. Let's send Cogsworth to detail his summer cleaning plan. We'll have to re-plaster the inverted vaulted ceilings, of course taking care to preserve the Rococo design, but... Cogsworth, do my ears mislead me? Or are you reviewing the summer cleaning list you have told me so much about? How fortunate! Lumiere, you're pleased? Well, may I say it's a pleasure to hear you express enthusiasm for one of my plans for once. Haha, you mistake me, Cogsworth. It is fortunate that I found you now, so that I can share my own superior plan with you. Uh, and I hadn't even reached point 53. Come now, Cogsworth. Cleanliness has its place, but that alone cannot outshine such lights as those. No, what is needed here is atmosphere. I will gather all the candlesticks in the castle. We shall all lie together and... And you will burn the estate down with your foolishness. For the life of me, Lumiere, I cannot phantom why you... Foolishness? Au contraire, it is you who are foolish for forsaking what little poetry you once had in your soul. Why I... Uh... Let's send Cogsworth and Lumiere to continue the argument. Cleanliness! Atmosphere! Cleanliness! Atmosphere! Bell! Cleanly! Ah! Ah, master, what uh, what brings you to this uh, discussion? <sighs> Both of you were supposed to walk with Bell to the marketplace today. Yes, that's right. My apologies, sir. Lumiere, shall we uh, agree to disagree for now? Ah, what a day! Bell walking to the market unaccompanied. Those lights in the sky highlighting my best profile. Not that I have a not best profile, but, well, you know what I mean. Yes, today is the perfect day to win my way into Belle's heart. Not that I was ever out of her heart. All those other times she was merely confused, but, oh, you know what I mean. Let's send Gaston and Belle to have an encounter. Bell, what a, <coughs> a coincidence meeting you here. Why, I just was saying to LeFou earlier today. LeFou, I said, don't you think my biceps are supremely rippling this morning? And he said, tell her what you said, LeFou. LeFou, tell Bell what you said about how enormous my muscles are. This, LeFou, where did you... <sighs> I'll be right back, Bell. Just as soon as I punch someone for not being here to compliment me when I demand it. Goodbye, Gaston. Thankfully, he didn't even get as far as asking me that time. What a day! That weird purple sun's out again, and Gaston's too busy to yell at me. Yep, it's the perfect day to sneak into that beast's garden and take a swim. I mean, he has all those fancy fountains. It's not fair that he gets to splash around in them and I don't. After all, I only broke into his castle that one time. 
Oh, and I guess this time too. But he doesn't know that. <laughs> Let's send LeFou to look for a way into Beast's garden. Ow, my aching. Uh, well, all of me. Some cleaning nut must have waxed all the footpaths in here. I didn't get halfway to the fountains before I slipped and fell. Twice! No, three times! Maybe five! After the time I fell on my head, I think I lost track. Guess I'm going swimming in the village well again today. Well, what an eventful day this has been. Lights in the sky, Coxworth and Lumiere having their usual disagreements. And all the while, I'm the only one on the master staff actually bothering to do any cleaning. I don't mind Coxworth nattering on about the 80 point tidying plans, but I do wish he'd contribute to the work. So let's send Mrs. Potts to actually do some cleaning. Atmosphere, he says. I'll give him atmosphere, that adult painted waxy eared. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Potts. Is there uh, a reason why there's an imprint of a very small man in those bushes over there? I was wondering the same thing. Some poor deer must have slipped on the pots I've been cleaning and skidded right into them. All right then. Well, I'm glad you are cleaning, though I'm not sure it's made our home any safer than it was before. Oh, I'm not so sure it hasn't. Not if that imprint in the bushes belongs to who I think it does. 